Welcome to The Grid. I'm Cassidy. Today's top headlines are as follows. The biggest AIM-120 missile order ever just signed by the Pentagon. Russian nuclear submarine fires world's largest cruise missile near NATO waters. China delivers Z-10ME attack helicopters to Pakistan. US MQ-25 Stingray enters ground testing. And Russia creates the world's first anti-drone rifle simulator. The Pentagon has signed a record $3.5 billion contract with Raytheon to procure AIM-120 advanced medium-range air-to-air missiles. The deal will provide these missiles for foreign military sales, FMS, to 19 nations, including Japan, Germany, Poland, Australia, the UK, Israel, and Ukraine. Both Raytheon and the US Air Force declined to say how many missiles will be provided under the contract. AIM-120s can cost over $1 million per example, depending on variant. This contract marks an unprecedented surge in demand for the versatile air-to-air -air missile amidst rapidly rising global security concerns. Russia's nuclear-powered submarine, Orel, has launched Caliber, Granite, and Onyx cruise missiles during Arctic war games alongside a frigate and bastion coastal defenses. The Oscar II-class sub, a Cold War-era giant, demonstrated its firepower near NATO waters in the Barents Sea. The drill highlights Russia's continued use of legacy platforms amid its shift to newer Yasin-class subs. On August 3, 2025, Pakistan officially inducted the Chinese Z-10ME attack helicopter into its army fleet, marking the first ever export of this heavily armed platform. Beijing claims the Z-10ME will boost Pakistan's counterterrorism capabilities, offering all-weather ops, high survivability, and precision firepower. But globally, this raises bigger questions. Is this really about fighting terror or about sharpening Pakistan's strike edge amid regional tensions? The timing, capability, and symbolism suggest deeper China-Pakistan military convergence, with ripple effects from Afghanistan to Kashmir. The U.S. Navy's MQ-25 Stingray carrier-based unmanned tanker has officially entered ground testing, marking a major milestone for the program. Boeing confirmed that production representative MQ-25s are now being tested at their facility outside St. Louis, ahead of an expected first flight before the end of 2025. This next phase brings the MQ-25 closer to becoming the Navy's first operational carrier-based drone, designed primarily for aerial refueling and with a secondary role in surveillance. Russia has unveiled the world's first anti-drone rifle simulator, developed by students at the Southern Federal University. This platform provides a realistic virtual environment for training in drone warfare, where users can practice using a variety of anti-drone rifles, like the PARS and Harpy, detection systems, and different types of drones. From commercial models such as DJI to military class Leleki 100, this development marks a significant advance for counter-drone training worldwide potentially shaping how militaries prepare for rapidly evolving threats in the era of drone warfare. That's a wrap on today's top global defense news. For more in-depth analysis, hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I'm Cassidy on the Grid. Stay sharp, stay informed. See you in the next update.